Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number six of exercise five point two. And in this case, you have to check whether one fifty is a term of this AP, which is eleven eight five two, and so on. So, how we can check? Supposing that this is the nth term, means we don't know how many terms are there in this AP. So. we can assume this term as an nth term and if this is a nth term of this ap so this must satisfy the conditions for nth term and the nth term in ap we know that is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d now if this is the nth term it must it must satisfy this equation so The nth term is given as 150. The first term in this case is given e equals to 11, and the n we don't know what should uh, how many terms are there in the AP, but the common difference can be find out. The common difference is basically. the value which you are adding or subtracting from the first value to form the second value so clearly in this case 3 has been subtracted from the first term to form the remaining terms so 11 minus 3 is 8 minus 3 is 5 minus 3 is 2 and so on so this is how a constant value which is minus 3 is added to form this ap or in other words the common difference can be formed by uh, subtracting first term from the second term and the first term is given as 8 and the second term is given as 11 so the common difference will be minus 3 because greater value has minus sign so the common difference here is minus 3 so i can substitute the value of d as minus 3 so this is 150 equals to 11 And this is uh, minus three multiplied by n will be minus three n, and minus minus will be plus, and three multiplied by one will, will be three. So this is three n plus three, and this is one fifty. This three can be added to this. So eleven plus three is fourteen. Three n. This is one fifty. Now, if you want to solve this, we have to. Shift all the constant to one side and all the variables to one side. So if I shift this variable to this side, this will become plus. And when I shift shift one fifty to that side, again this will become plus. So this will be four six one, and this will be three n. So th n will be equal to one sixty four upon three. Now, if I cancel this value. So three five times fifteen, and carry one. So this will become fourteen. So which is not divisible by three. Or there is a divisibility rule for three that if you want to check that any number is divisible by three or not, you have to add all the digits in this number. So if I add this, so six plus four is ten. So this will become eleven upon three. and if this sum is divisible by 3 so this complete number must also be divisible by 3 and if the sum is not divisible by 3 so this number must also must not also divisible by 3 so in the in this case the sum is not divisible by 3 so clearly this number must also must not also be divisible by 3 so we are saying that the n will be in decimals so that is not possible if i am saying there is a ap and there are certain terms in in that ap so that terms cannot be 1.5 i can't say there are 2.5 terms in this ap i'll say there are two terms in ap and there are three terms in, in ap i can't say that there are 2.5 terms in this ap so the terms must be in complete numbers so in this case the n is in points so we can confirm that this is not a term in this ap so this is how you can solve this question thank you